strange that BMW took so long to release this, the 2 Series Grand Coupe. Following on from the 4-door 8 Series and 3 and 5 and 6 Series GT models, it follows the now familiar recipe of adding a low sweeping roof to create the coupe shape. Based on the new 1 Series rather than the outgoing 2 Series, the 2 Series Grand Coupe uses the same controversial front wheel drive layout, although this one is a little different. The M235i is, as its name suggests, the sportiest version of the Grand Coupe currently on offer. As such, it gets an all-wheel drive system mated to a turbocharged 2.0-litre motor, putting out 302 brake horsepower. 0 to 62 miles per hour is dealt with in 4.9 seconds, while top speed is limited to 155. Styling-wise, the Grand Coupe is a clear step away from the outgoing rear-wheel drive 2 series. The bulbous front end is carried more or less straight over from the 1 series hatchback, with its silly swollen kidney grills and narrow headlights. Everything else though is brand new. From the A pillar back, the Grand Coupe is certainly a much more stylish alternative to its hatchback equivalent. The dimensions seem a little odd at first, but when you really take in its side profile, you can't help but admire BMW's ability to transform a practical five-door into a rakish coupe. Compared to the regular 2 Series, which is actually a proper two-door coupe, the new car is much more spacious, both in the front and the back, making it a halfway house between the rather cramped 2 Series and the practical 1 Series. But the M235i is about more than just practicality. Standard kit includes launch control, a limited slip differential and adaptive suspension with various different settings depending on your driving style. However, it's not the only small four-door coupe with a bit of grunt. This is our class favourite, the Mercedes CLA. There are two different AMG versions available, the flagship 45, a 415 brake horsepower monster, or the entry-level 35, which competes directly against the M235i. In fact, on paper, it looks as if the M division has been copying AMG's homework. Both cars produce exactly 302 brake horsepower. Both cars hit 62 from rest in 4.9 seconds, and both have an electronically limited top speed of 155. Both cars are all-wheel drive, and both are slightly less practical versions of regular hot hatchbacks. The only thing that separates them is price, but even that's close with both cars coming in at just under £40,000. Inside though, it's a clear win for the Mercedes, with all the fabulous bits from a regular A-Class but with some added AMG flair. On the road, though, the little AMG feels wonderfully compact with its diminutive size and responsive steering, helping you to maintain some serious momentum. While the optional adaptive suspension offers a surprisingly comfortable ride, even in its firmest setting. Sadly, though, like the regular A35 hatchback, the noise is a little disappointing. It sounds sporty, but it isn't a particularly nice sound, especially when compared to the raucous 45 version. The A35, though, is an altogether more sensible, everyday option. 90% of the time it's as docile and relaxing as a regular CLA, but every now and then, when the mood strikes and the road is clear, it can squat down and fire you towards the next corner at sensational speeds. Both of these cars are remarkably similar, but for now at least, the Mercedes offers the greater range of body styles with a shooting brake estate version, as well as a proper saloon version to add another dose of confusion. They are, though, both stylish alternatives to already impressive hot hatches.